get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. Tom, let's talk about the 30-way weigh-in by the WBC. Brooke comes in at 176 pounds, Gennady weighs in at 165. A lot of fight fans were talking about this fight being a mismatch because Gennady's the bigger man. Now it's, it shows that uh, Brooke is the bigger guy. Well, what are your thoughts on that? He's the heavier guy, um, but he was solid. You saw it. I yeah. mean, he was on the scale. He had a shirt off. He, he was a solid 176 pounds. He didn't have a fat stomach. and. Uh, you know, that's where on paper it looks like a, a undefeated welterweight champion fighting an undefeated middleweight champion. But Gennady's always been uh, able to make 160 pounds very easily. He weighs in at 159 typically in, in, in his fights. And uh, he walks around always, uh, you know, pretty close to his, his limit. You know, he's only five pounds over 30 days out. I mean, not only for middleweight, but for any champion to be five pounds over. I mean, look at the... Uh, Look at the uh, the flyweights that are fighting. You know, Roman, yeah. both Roman and uh, and Quadras uh, were uh, what they were 124. So that's uh, nine pounds over, and that's a much smaller weight. So, uh, guy is just a unique individual. He's so dedicated and so focused on his training and his career that he doesn't he doesn't uh, uh, gain a lot of weight in between in between fights. He usually walks around at 170, 172 when he gets to training camp. And he's at 165 during the training camp, during the whole training camp. So um, when you look at those uh, photos next to each other with Gennady weighing in at 165 and Brooke at 176, I think it's a much more competitive fight than, uh, than uh, some uh, people like to say between uh, Brooke moving up uh, in weight. Well, you know, like I mentioned before, a lot of fight fans saw this as a mismatch because of the disparity in weight. Now that they see Brooke winning at 176 pounds, there's a lot of intrigue. People are actually into this fight. What are your thoughts on that? Well, not only, look, Kel's moving up in weight, but you also have to look at the fact that Gennady, which is very unusual, Gennady as the top champion in his division actually going to Brooke's home country, to the UK, to defend his titles over there, to the challenger's home country. You never see that happening these days. The top, the top fighters going to a challenger's uh, home country, and that, I think that evens out a lot of the, a lot of the, uh, uh, what what some people might perceive as uh, advantage for Gennady. Because look, you got the, the jet lag, you got the the change of locations, you got the time difference, different restaurants, everything. But you know, Gennady is such a professional. He's fought all over the world as an amateur. He doesn't care where he fights. You know, we were talking about fighting Frotch in the UK. Then we we're talking about fighting. Billy Joe Saunders in the UK, and then Eubank. And so now we have to give uh, Kel Brook a lot of credit. He showed the most heart <laughs> to actually sign the contract, and uh, and that's how this fight happened. And and since we announced the fight, the when the tickets went on sale, they sold out in one day. We're expecting uh, great numbers for uh, the UK uh, for Sky uh, the pay per view. Uh, it's going to be in over a hundred countries internationally on HBO here, naturally in the United States, and um, it's become uh, really the most talked about uh, boxing match of the year. So many middleweights refuse to fight Gennady Golovkin. You have a welterweight in Kel Brook who's risking his undefeated record, risking uh, the weight disparity. You know, he, he's risking so much, and he's moving up to fight a heavy puncher in Gennady Golovkin. Why is it that no other middleweight wants to face this man? You know, that, that's not a question for our side. You really have to ask their side. You know, right. it's been my experience in boxing that when you have a champion willing to fight, normally champions like swerves around, like, you know, trying to protect his title. But when you have a champion willing to put all of his titles on the line, the, the fighters would jump at that, you know, trying to, trying to have the opportunity to, to win the titles, and uh, uh, I think Kell Brook sees it as an opportunity to, to be in a mega event. You know, Gennady coming to the UK, putting his titles on the line against a very popular uh, champion uh, with Brook, it's, uh, it's turned out to be a massive event, and that's really 
what the Triple G fights have turned into. It doesn't matter who he fights, they're, they're big events. You know, he sold out MSG with David Lemieux. He sold out the form against uh, Dominic Wade. Now the O2 Arena is sold out with, uh, with uh, Cal Brooks. So uh, I think we're going to, I think this fight made a big statement uh, as far as uh, the interest internationally. The revenue that's going to generate, and uh, hopefully, uh, it'll uh, give an incentive for the other middleweights to uh, to actually, instead of talking about fighting Gennady, to actually sign the contract to fight. My last question: Gennady has been a fan favorite here on the West Coast and in the East Coast. Do you feel the UK fight fans will embrace him and take him in as one of their own because he's fighting Kell Brook? Yeah. Oh, Kel Brook's a very champion, a uh, very popular champion in the UK, but I think they've already embraced him. Well, we saw the reaction. He's been now twice this year to, to the UK, um, and both times, uh, both times for, for uh, press events. And uh, the reaction he's got, not only from the fans, but the media, you know, finally seeing him live over there, you know, it's like the Smith of uh, a guy that they see on TV that's knocking everybody out, and now they actually get to see him live. I mean, it's, it's, it's been such a great reaction and a lot of uh, fan support that that I think you'll see a lot of uh, Triple G fights, uh, Triple G fans uh, in the arena that night. Thank you, Tom. Always a pleasure. Thanks, Dominic. All right.